guys, welcome to, I believe this is the fourth installment of the Herp Shop. No, that is not me on the screen, that is my um, Eastern King Snake. Um, and you can see he's just now coming out of a shed. Um, but why am I showing him to you guys? Well, there's first thing I need to mention. This King Snake has been with me for the last... I'm going to go eight months on him, and he has never calmed down at all. Um, he acts just like this all the time, and he'll strike at anything. Um, if I make, make a shadow go over him, usually he strikes. He's not going to do it now. Um, for instance, um, small snake hook for pygmy rattlesnakes. Usually he strikes at it. Oh, he's going to make me out to be a liar, of course. Okay. Well, either way, let's strike at anything. Um, for instance, um, an empty styrofoam cut. Let's strike at anything, really. That was my cut, buddy. Let's check that out. You can really see it. There we go. Absolutely aggressive. I never get this guy out. Um, I do feed him, obviously. He eats well. Um, I have a hard time feeding him, actually. Uh, when I toss a lot of mice in there for him, he usually strikes at him like he does anything else. And um, will not eat it for the longest time. Um, I just took his water bowl out, so if you're wondering where his water bowl is at, I just took it out. Um, oh, he's going to strike. Too slow, buddy. He's funny, though. He is funny. Cheese. Well, eastern king snakes are called king snakes because they eat other snakes. Um, we've seen them with copperheads in their bellies, and um, I've even heard reports of small um, canebrake or timber rattlesnakes in their stomachs as well. Um, these guys, as you can see, are they have, they have cross bands. Um, they're black, and they're usually they're like this creamy yellow color. Um, you do see some that have maybe like a whitish cream color. Um, we actually have in our possession at the other snake room, not the herb shop, but the snake room, um, a um, an exanthic or an azanthic, as you would want to call it, um, which means azanthism um, is the lack of yellow pigment, unlike anerythorism, which is the lack of red pigment, um, or amelanism, which is the lack of um, black pigment. Um, you people may have heard of amelanism being called albino. Uh, we have anerythorism, azanthism, amelanism, and I'm pretty sure I'm missing another one. There's the opposite forms of each uh, color morph. Um, there's albino, and then there's um, the opposite of albino would be melanistic, which means an abundance of black pigment. Um, you have erythristic, which is the abundance of red pigment, and you see that a lot in Carolina um, pygmy rattlesnakes. Um, generally the ones towards the coast of North Carolina, or um, there's a lot of them in, in Georgia that get a lot of the red pigment. Um, and then you have um, xanthic, which is high yellow um, animals. So. There we go. He is an absolutely aggressive snake. Oh, sorry. He is beautiful, though. He's absolutely gorgeous. But if he would just calm down. In fact, when I first caught him, he was not like that. Um, now, I'm not huge on collecting, but I've always loved king snakes. And I've never had a, an eastern king in my captivity, or care, rather. 
but um, it's been interesting. I've got one more, actually two more king snakes I'd like to show you, but I don't have the, the time, um, so I'll try to go quick with you. This guy. Now, if you can figure out what he is, it'd be lovely. This right here is a wonderful snake. I got him from a buddy of mine um, earlier this year for a real cheap price. Absolutely gorgeous animal. This is an Appalachia Cola King Snake. Beautiful, beautiful animals. He does not want to sit still for me. Can you come over here? Um, this guy right here in particular, he has eaten um, copperheads for me. He has eaten, now obviously the copperheads were not live. Um, he's eaten, I've had a glass lizard drop his tail and he ate the glass lizard's tail. Um, what else has he eaten? He's eaten corn snakes and um, rat snakes and you name it, he's eaten it. He's an absolutely gorgeous snake. As you can see, check out the belly. Beautiful animal. Beautiful. The Apalachicola king snake. This last king snake I do want to show you. Oh, I've got a few seconds. Is the albino or amelanistic. Florida king snake. Now look how gorgeous she is. She usually doesn't get held. Um, I believe her to maybe have a respiratory infection because occasionally I see her in her cage and she's just she has her mouth open breathing so I have to treat that. So she always acts like she's pissed. She never really has ever struck. Let me scoot forward a little bit. You can see how pretty she is. She's an amazing little girl. I got her from a guy who uh, who didn't want to take care of his snakes anymore. and He had a cow king and stuff, and I decided I was going to take the Florida king, and the snake room could have the cow king. So we have long since sold that cow king. And I have long since have still had my girl. Um, as you can see, her nose is red, and that's because when she was in the aquarium that the guy had her in, um, she rubbed her little rostral scale right off. You can see her mouth open. So I kind of feel bad for her. For the longest time, she wouldn't eat for me, but um, I've gotten her to eat now. She still won't eat in front of me, so I have to kill the, as sad as it sounds, I have to kill the mouse and feed her off to her. She is gorgeous. Look at her. Isn't she such a doll? Gorgeous animal. Well, that's it for this installment of uh, the Herp Shop, and hope you guys enjoyed King Snakes. Um, next time I have to show you some of the uh, the other snakes I got, but I can only do 10-minute videos. So, you guys take care and hang in there.